we know for a fact that she got here in 38, but we don't know how old she was when she got here. Uh, based on the pictures that I've seen and the size of her when she arrived, she wasn't young then either. So she wasn't a, a baby per se. Um, so I want to say maybe tack on maybe five, six years since the time she was here. I can literally just hold her in my arms and just like move her, manipulate her in the tank any way that I want. Because if she's hungry, it's a very good motivator. And they're really, really ancient fish. So they literally have lungs as well as gills. So it's thought that they were the in-between between fish and amphibians. They're pretty rare in Australia nowadays. Uh, I don't know how it was back in the 30s. Uh, but they're pretty, they're protected by the Australian government, so it's probably impossible or very difficult to get another specimen over here in the States. We had a nice little experiment where we moved her to a larger tank because people were concerned that there wasn't enough room in this habitat for her. Uh, but she ended up not liking the larger tank, and then we decided to move her back here, where she now no longer has roommates, which she appreciates as well. So she, you, you might consider her a grumpy old woman, perhaps. <laughs>